Today on MTG Unpacked, we're looking at the Commander 2017 set, Draconic Domination. This just came out last night. I picked it up at the LGS uh, while I was playing Friday Night Magic. So I'm looking forward to seeing these. Um, we've also got cats, wizards, and vampires. So I thought I would open dragons first because I think I'm most excited about this one. So let's see what we get in the box. And there's some uh, bit of detail there on the back. Of the various dragons. So we get a hundred cards, including seventeen new magic cards. Foil oversized. 10 double sided tokens, deck storage box, insert, and quick reference card. So let's pop this guy out and do it without bending it. And here's our deck box. So we have the commander, the Ur Dragon. Legendary creature, dragon avatar. He has eminence as long as the U dragon is in the command zone or on the battlefield. Other dragon spells cost you one mana less to cast. He has flying. Whenever one or more dragons you control attack, draw that many cards. Then you may put a permanent card from your hand onto the battlefield. He's a 10-10 for 9 mana. Wow. It's a 5 color dragon. So they must have a bunch of interesting... Oh, and Liliana just couldn't believe it. <laughs> just fell over in excitement. Okay. What do we have here? So a bit about the game. Some advertising here. The Ur Dragon. I'm probably mispronouncing that. It probably has some fancy pronunciation, but look at all these guys. Dragons. Very cool. And what else we get in here? Our uh, quick reference. It's the same thing they usually put in these. Okay, so we will open this up, see what cards we get. And I will separate this into a few piles because it's a bit unwieldy going through all of these. So first up we have the foil, uh, smaller version of the oversized card. This is our Ur Dragon Commander, which we just talked about. We also have another one, O Kagachi, Vengeful Kami. This is a, let's see, he's a 6 mana, 6-6, six, six, Flying Trample. Whenever O Kagachi, Vengeful Kami deals combat damage to a player, if that player attacked you during his or her last turn, exile target non-land permanent that player controls. Here's a dragon spirit. We have a legendary artifact creature. Um, this is Ramos Dragon Engine, another foil. Flying, whenever you cast a spell, put a plus one plus one counter on Ramos Dragon Engine for each of that spell's colours. Remove the five plus one plus one counters from Ramos. You can add a whole stack of mana to your mana pool. Activate this ability only once each turn. Okay, now it seems like we're going to have a bunch of tokens here. So we have gold, dragon's favourite thing. Cat Dragon, what the? 
That is weird, okay. So something is generating cat dragon tokens in here. Be curious what that is. Okay, so going through the rest of these, we have the Curse of Verbosity, Curse of Opulence, Curse of Bounty, Herald's Horn, Mirror of the Forebears, Orator of Ojutai, Dragon Lord Servant, Dragon Speaker Shaman, Cultivate, Elemental Bond, Far Seek, Kodama's Reach, Rain of Thorns. We have a Savage Ventmore, Armillary Sphere, Commander's Sphere, Dark Steel Ingot, Dreamstone Hedron, Lightning Greaves, Nihil Spellbomb, Soul Ring, of course, Wayfarer's Bobble, and let's see, Mountains, just some random mountains shoved in there. Okay, uh, Fortunate Few, Scale Lord Reckoner, Kindred Discovery, Boneyard Scourge, Territorial Hellkite, Fractured Identity, Taigam Ojutai Master. So here's another legendary creature. With instant sorcery and dragon spells you control can't be counted by spells or abilities. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand, if Tagam Ojutai Master attacked this turn, that spell gains rebound. Uh, this is where you exile the spell as it resolves. At the beginning of your next upkeep, you may cast that card from exile without paying its mana cost. Here we go. This is our um, Wasatora Nekoru Queen, legendary creature cat dragon with flying and trample. Whenever Wasatora Nekoru Queen deals combat damage to a player, that player sacrifices a creature. If the player can't, you create a 3-3 three, three black, red and green cat dragon creature token with flying. So watch out, you get a whole stack of cat dragons after you. I bet that's hilarious. Another legendary creature, this is Ryusai, or uh, yeah, the Falling Star. Uh, with flying, when Ryusai, the Falling Star, dies, it deals five damage to each creature without flying. And just a regular dragon, uh, Scourge of Valkus. Alright. On to the rest. Let's see, I think, are they going to split up? How are they going to do this? I have mountains. So let's take a quick look at the mana here. So the mountain, swamp, swamp, swamp. We've got forests, plains. Yeah, pretty much everything. Five colours. So those are our basic lands. And then, okay, we'll go through the non-basic lands after the rest of the cards here. We have a Utvara Hellkite, Sunscorch Regent, Monastery Siege, Crux of Fate, Deathbringer Regent, Painful Truths, Palace Siege, Crucible of Fire, Dragon Tempest, Earthquake, Hellkite Charger, 
Tyrants Familiar, Frontier Siege, another legendary creature. This is Ataka World Render, Dragon, Flying Trample. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, it gains double strike until end of turn. So he's a 6 4 for 7 mana. Bladewing the Risen. This is a zombie dragon, legendary creature with flying. Whenever Bladewing the Risen enters the battlefield, you may return target dragon permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. And for one swamp, one mountain, dragon creatures get plus one, plus one until end of turn. He's a 4-4 four, four for seven. So another beefy dragon creature. We have a broodmate dragon. Croesus the Purger, another legendary. With flying, whenever Croesus the Purger deals combat damage to a player, you may pay two colorless, one swamp. If you do choose a color, then that player reveals his or her hand and discards all cards of that color. He's a 6-6 six, six for 6. Probably not coincidental. Another one. Well, you could uh, get quite a, make quite a few other uh, commander decks out of this one. Uh, Dromoka the Eternal. With flying, whenever a dragon you control attacks, bolster 2, which means choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. So here's a 5-5 five, five for 5. We have Intet the Dreamer with flying, another 6-6 six, six for 6 mana. Uh, whenever Intet the Dreamer deals combat damage to a player, you may pay two colorless, one island. If you do exile the top card of your library face down, you may look at that card for as long as it remains exiled. You may play that card without paying its mana cost for as long as Intet remains on the battlefield. I wonder if they have um, so many legendary creatures in the other packs. Be curious what comes up in those in the future videos. Uh, this is Collagan, the Storm's Fury. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero until end of turn. He has dash for three colorless, one swamp, one mountain, which means you may cast this spell for its dash cost. If you do, it gains haste and it's returned from the battlefield to its owner's hand at the beginning of the next end step. This is Niv Mizzet, Draco Genius. Whenever Niv Mizzet, Draco Genius deals damage to a player, you may draw a card. For one island, one swamp, Niv Mizzet, Draco Genius deals one damage to target creature or player. He's a 5-5 five, five, for 6. Ojitai, Soul of Winter, with Flying and Vigilance. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, tap the target non-land permanent and opponent controls. That permanent doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. So here's a 5-6 for 7. We have Scion, or Scion of the Ur Dragon, with Flying. Two colorless. You can search your library for a dragon permanent card and put it into your graveyard. If you do, Scion of the Ur Dragon becomes a copy of that card until end of turn. Then shuffle your library. So here's a 4-4 four, four for 5 mana, one of each color. Silumgar the Drifting Death with flying and hexproof. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, creatures defending player controls get minus one, minus one until end of turn. Is a three seven for six. And a normal non-legendary dragon. This is Spellbound Dragon. Teneb the Harvester, another legendary creature. Whenever Teneb the Harvester deals combat damage to a player, you may pay two colorless, one swamp. If you do, put the target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. It's another 6-6 six, six for 6 mana. And we get an artifact, Fist of Sons. 
Artifact Creature, Steel Hellcat, a Land, Crucible of the Spirit Dragon, Haven of the Spirit Dragon, and uh, other non basics we have a Path of Ancestry, Arcane Sanctum, Command Tower, Crumbling Necropolis, Frontier Bivouac. Jungle Shrine, Mystic Monastery, Nomad Outpost, Opulent Palace, Sand Step Citadel, Savage Lands, Seaside Citadel, Vivid Crag, Vivid Creek, Vivid Grove, we're going to get another Vivid, Vivid Marsh, there we go, the whole set. And the Vivid Meadow, so a lot of vividness there. Seems like we've got every Vivid card, every legendary dragon that ever was. Uh, if you know of any other legendary dragons that they missed, leave a note in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and stay tuned for more uh, Commander 2017 unboxings and have a great day.